Yeah, that's gross. Hey, what's up? Today we're gonna to talk about vegan cheese. I have three commonly available forms of vegan cheese that you can get in most supermarkets. We're gonna test them out side by side on a regular cheese pizza. So the three cheeses we're gonna try out today are Violife, Daya, and Soy Delicious Shredded Mozzarella. Full discrepancy, I am not vegan. However, I do try to limit my dairy when possible. First thing we're gonna do is try them side by side straight out of the bag and see how they taste just in their straight form. All right, so first up's gonna be the Violife brand. Uh, it says in the ingredients that it's mostly filtered water, coconut oil, modified potato and corn starches, and salt. So not a lot of ingredients, doesn't look like a lot of chemicals. You can see, it does look similar to mozzarella. Smells like nuts. There's a nutty flavor. Overall, not bad. All right, next up is the Daya. Um, yeah, it doesn't really look like cheese. It doesn't look like cheese to me. Definitely has a chemical smell. Water, tapioca flour, safflower, natural flavors, chickpea, yeast, Yada yada, stuff and things. Yeah, that's gross. Not sure what that flavor is. That's not cheese though. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, All right, the last contestant. Soy delicious. Delicious. Color is a little off. It's kind of a yellow or tint to it. Uh, overall, Looks like shredded mozzarella though. Water, coconut oil, potato starch, potato starch, potato protein, salt, cellulose, and some artificial stuff. That was too big of a bite, for sure. I'm really tasting it though, a big bite. Not bad. It's got a smoky flavor to it. You can tell it's not cheese, but overall not bad. All right. Let's throw them on a pizza, get them fired up in the rock box, and we'll see you back here to try them out. three pizzas cooked off just looking at them briefly I think that I'm a little surprised the Daya which I thought was kind of the the grossest of the three in its raw form actually cooked probably the most like actual cheese I don't know if you can see that Pretty good I'd say it's tied with the bio life for looks in terms of melt and just cheesiness the uh, Soy Delicious is probably the least attractive of the three cheeses. Uh, overall, they all had a similar level of char in the rock box. Uh, they did melt, but not fully like you would see on a mozzarella. I topped pretty light with it, hoping that it would kind of melt into the tomato sauce like you'd get with the standard mozzarella, but it more just stayed in place. I think the most melty of the three was, in fact, the Vile Life, though. All right, let's jump right into it. We're gonna go ahead and start off with the Daya first. This was my least favorite going into the, uh, the challenge here in terms of smell and feel. It's a little snotty, kind of like snot. It doesn't have that weird flavor I got when it was not cooked though. Yeah. 
Not terrible. I could eat that. Not great either, though. All right, BioLife. This was probably my favorite raw. This one's gooey. It doesn't have the kind of thicker snot texture that the Daya has. More like actual cheese, more like a Velveeta though, not like a shredded mozzarella. Kind of a creaminess to it. Pretty good. The flavor is definitely still kind of nutty. Um, not cheesy, like it doesn't have that rich cheesiness to it, more of a nutty creaminess to it. I suck at describing things that I'm tasting. All right, the last one's the Soy Delicious. Also, check out that under uh, carriage right there. This is my all-purpose pizza dough recipe. It's another video if you are interested in how I made this dough for these pizzas, you should check out that video. If I figure out how to do it, I'll put a link right there, or maybe over here. Oh, all right, okay. This one's not as creamy as the BioLife but it doesn't have the boogeriness of the Daya. That's tough. The Soy Delicious definitely does not have the nutty flavor that you get from the, the BioLife and the Daya. Not as gooey though. Overall, my favorite is going to be the BioLife. I'm picking the BioLife because of several factors. It had the best flavor uncooked. It did the best job melting. It looks the most like real cheese, and it tastes the most like real cheese.